Hey, Deserving Listeners, we usually don't have episodes that come out on Tuesday, but today is the election day in the United States, and I thought that it'd be weird if I didn't talk about it a little bit anyway, just acknowledge that it's happening, and I thought I would just rat- rattle off a few things that I might suggest to people that they can do to take care of themselves. One is is to vote. It is a wonderful activity to vote. It makes me feel good when I vote, if you can. Also, stay safe. Monitor your emotions, regulate your emotions, really make sure you check in with yourself throughout the day and really for the rest of your life. But today in particular on Tuesday, if you're in the United States or if you're anywhere and this situation is important to you, and find your safe people. Find your people that you feel close to you, that you trust, reach out to them, be with them, hang out with them. Also, no matter what happens, we must stay the course. We have a lot to do. We have a lot to do to reduce racism and sexism and ageism and sizeism and cissexism and classism and ableism, etc. There's lots to do no matter who wins. So we have to understand that. To put things into context, we should learn about history as much as we can. And I know a lot of you out there do. We need to learn how we, as a society, actually change things over time. We do not change our society by just voting for a president. We need to learn what we've already accomplished as Americans and how we accomplish those things. We've accomplished so much in the past 50 years, and it's important that we learn from those successes and repeat those. Also, speak your mind if you want to. Don't be afraid to advocate for yourself. If you're being picked on or you feel like your voice isn't being heard, then you deserve to be heard if, if you want your voice to be heard. There are consequences of that that we all need to acknowledge, but speak your mind. You deserve to be heard. Also, regarding the election, don't expect a quick result. It might take weeks to count all the votes, and so let's all just hold our horses until the you know, a good answer comes down. Uh, through the news. Also, analyze your echo chamber. I always talk about this. Be mindful of what the internet is feeding you, Facebook, Instagram, this sort of thing. Is the information accurate? Is it one-sided? Is it good for your mental health to be fed that sort of information throughout the day? Really, you know, monitor that for yourself. If you're having trouble falling asleep at night because of the news, if you're having Uh, nightmares about the news, it's probably because you're not protecting your psyche enough from what the news is doing to you. Being informed is great, but if you're losing sleep, I I don't know if that is a good situation. Also, avoid falling for propaganda. We want to find reputable sources of information. Facebook is not that. There are other places, New York Times, this sort of thing. So you, you want to find rational voices that are in the middle, on either side of the middle. Um, you know, I actually will reach out to other political views. I'll watch other news channels and listen to other kinds of podcasts to just hear the voices, to hear, hear what they say. I, I'm usually cringing and disagreeing with almost everything they're saying, but at least I'm hearing their voice and understanding them better. I think it's important that we do that if you can handle it. And... Also, uh, just going back to my original point of, you know, monitor your emotions, take care of yourself, avoid falling into certain kind of traps of, you know, getting super hostile, creating enemies where it's not necessary, falling into drug abuse, self-destruction, negative thinking patterns that aren't helpful to you. You know, just really take care of yourself. It's tempting to just be glued to the news without checking in with yourself. So a good way to remind yourself is to set your alarm for every hour or two. And the alarm just says, hey, you know, take two minutes or even just five seconds to just take an inventory of how your body feels and what kind of emotions you're going through and whether or not your blood pressure is spiking, this kind of thing. And above all, as I always say, take care of yourself and please take care of others because we all deserve it.